Hello and welcome to this video about asynchronous callbacks. There are two types of main styles that you will come across in asynchronous code. They are the older style callbacks and the newer style promises. Whilst callbacks are considered to be the older type, it is still important to get to know them in case you come across them on your journey to become a well-rounded developer. Async callbacks are functions that are specified as arguments when calling another function that will get to work executing code in the background. Only when the background code finishes running, the callback is called. Don't worry if none of this makes sense because we're going to go through this step by step with code. An example of an async callback function you might have come across before is when you use the add event listener JavaScript method. The second parameter here of the add event listener JavaScript method, so right here, is considered to be an async callback. The method works in such a way under the hood that if we pass an event through as the first parameter, this in this case it is a click, but it is one of many from a long list that exists, the event listens out for this event. And once it hears the event, the second parameter so in this case, the callback function is called. When we pass a callback function as an argument to another function or method, we are only passing the function's reference as an argument, i.e. the callback function is not executed immediately. It is called back asynchronously, somewhere inside the containing function's body. The containing function is responsible for executing the callback function when the time comes. So that is essentially what is happening all under the hood of the add event listener method. I could of course also written like this. So just taken out this entire function and assigned it to the const alert me. So that is a function expression or as you might have seen it written. I mean, this is just a function. You could also just write function alert me like so. So just the traditional way of writing a function. Okay, all of these are essentially the same. It is a contained function. It is not being called. So now you can see that alert me is essentially equivalent to this. Okay, const alert me equals parentheses arrow function curly braces. Alert me equals parentheses curly braces. Okay, and that is of course what we are passing into the add event listener. Okay, I like to think of it as this, like here's a function. It is just bursting with all the power of a function but can't do anything with it yet until it is called. And it is called inside the method under the hood or inside a function. Cool. To understand this a little bit better, let's actually write our own function. One where we can see actually what is going on under the hood. So here I have written an example. I'm just gonna paste this in here. Here is an example that loads a resource via the XML HTTP request API. So this is going back to our first Ajax lesson, the first lesson of this mini series. So what is going on here is that we essentially have two functions. So function show image and function create image. We then use the show image function and call it with these three parameters. So this means that I'm essentially getting Apple JPEG and passing onto the URL. So every time I use URL in this function, I'm essentially meaning Apple JPEG. Same for blob. So when we pass through blob as the type, the response type, it's going to take blob as a string response type takes many different things. Please do some research on this if you wish, but we are essentially passing through blob as the type for the response type and same for create image. So this is interesting. This is the callback. You can see the function create image here, and I am essentially passing it through into this function. So this is it. Now this is create image and I'm going to be using it here. Okay, but I'm only going to be using it after all of this has completed. By this, I mean that essentially we have the XML HTTP request object here. I'm getting a new one and then saving as the const XHR so I can use these methods on it. 
So essentially what I am doing is waiting for my Apple image to uh, be gotten for this file so that I can use it. And only once I have the Apple image, I can then pass through the response into the callback, which is this. So XHR response is going here, here, and then I am displaying the Apple. Okay, so this is a great example of how to use a callback because I only want to display or create the image once all of this has been completed. Cool. Hopefully that makes sense. Once again, one function, another function. I am then passing this function through into this function to be used as a callback. Please do note that not all callbacks are asynchronous. Some run synchronously. An example is when we use uh, for each to loop through items in an array, sort of like this. In this example, we are just looping through an array and we are just printing out values to the console. The argument that you're passing into the for each is, of course, a callback function because you see the parentheses, the arrow function, and you know the curly braces. Now, there's nothing really to wait for it here. Everything runs immediately. Okay, so that is just an example of a callback running synchronously. Um, hopefully, this lesson has been really useful in learning a little bit about what a callback function is and how you would use it in asynchronous JavaScript. Okay, so just to recap, this is a callback. We are passing a function into another function only to be called later when it releases all of its function energy thanks to the parenthesis. This is also a callback function, so you can write it as this where the function is separate and you're just passing through the reference for it, or you can write it like this, okay? And this is, of course, the parenthesis, parenthesis uh, arrow function and the curly braces. It is totally up to you. Next up, now that we have looked at callbacks, especially in the context of the XML HTTP request API, let's move on to promises. I will see you in the next video.